Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. Today's session is on the topic expected monetary value. So this comes under decision making under risk in decision theory. So uh, I hope you would have watched my previous webinars on decision theory basics as well as the decision theory under uncertainty and the decision th theory under risk. Okay, so today we'll be discussing a problem or a quantitative uh, problem on the decision making under risk with using the method expected monetary value. So I want all of you to have a pen and a paper with you as well as keep your mind clean and as open as a parachute because a mind works well when it opens up. So let's begin today's session. The question goes like this. A retailer purchases cherries every morning at rupees 50. A case means a box and sells them for rupees 80 a case. Any case remaining unsold at the end of the day can be disposed of next day at a salvage value of rupees 20 per case. Thereafter, they have no value. Past sales have ranged from 15 to 18 cases per day. The following is the record of sales from the past 120 days. Find how many cases the retailer should purchase per day to maximize this profit. This profit. Now, uh, let's make this question a little more clear. Now, we have a retailer who is purchasing boxes of cherries. Now, he purchases boxes of cherries for rupees 50. One box is equal to rupees 50. And he sells them for 80. So, he gets a profit there of rupees 30. Now, what happens by the end of the day when he closes the shop, if there are some cases or boxes of uh, cherries unsold, what happens is next day morning, it gets decayed or de um, you cannot use it. So he sells that for a throwaway money of rupees 20, which means he it's he is having a loss of 30 rupees, 50 minus 20. So he's having a loss of 30 rupees if it is not sold by the end of the day. Now, uh, given in the question is the sale, pa sale sales uh, of um, the cherry boxes for the past 120 days. Now here what, what we should understand is for 12 days, for 12 days the number of cases sold were 15. Now for 24 days it was 16. For 48 days only 17 boxes of cherries were sold and for 36 days only 18 were sold so we should understand that it ranges from 15 to 18 15 to 18 boxes or cases of uh, boxes of um, cherries are sold in a day okay now we should re understand or we should find out how many boxes the retailer should purchase per day so that his ma profit is maximum so this question is to maximize the profit. So it is a question on EMV. Okay, so we have already spoken about EMV. Now, in this particular question, we'll, st we'll start with whatever that has been given to us. Now, uh, we, are, we, we are given to us the selling price as rupees 80 and cost price as rupees 50. Now, if it is not sold, it will be given away, salvage at rupees 20. So from this, we can understand two, three things. The first thing is the profit. Profit is selling price minus cost price. So that is a very basic um, for formula for profit. So that is selling price minus cost price. So what is the selling price? 80. What is the cost price? It is 50. So uh, the profit is rupees 30. Now, what is the loss that is happening here? The loss that is happening here, if there is any box that is unsold on that particular day, that one have to will be sold next day morning at a throwaway price of rupees 20. So you bought it for 50, but you are getting only rupees 20. So again, the loss is rupees 30. Now, I'm making two assumptions here. Now, we have to have the states of nature as well as cause of action. Now, the state of nature is something that changes every uh, changes and at the same time we have the um, probabilities of that. Now, the probabilities can be calculated from the number of days here. So, I'll come to that later. So, N we, we call the, uh, the daily demand as N and we call the boxes of cherries to be purchased as S. 
okay now let's try to find out the conditional profit now what do you mean by conditional profit is the profit that we get under some conditions given some conditions if we for if we um, if we meet these conditions then we'll get the profit that is what is known as conditional profit now conditional profit um, for that we have conditional profit is equal to profit into the number of cases sold now if there are some losses then loss into cases unsold so what is the conditional profit conditional profit formula we can devise like the profit that we get into the profit that is rupees 30 number of boxes of cherries sold you have that number value and then what you have is the loss what is the number what is the loss that you incur that is rupees 30 because if you don't get sold at the end of the day it is salvage next day so it, you that is the rupees of 30 into number of cases unsold so let's have that particular formula there now i have already said i am putting n as the daily demand and s as the cases or boxes of cherries to be purchased now given the condition if s is greater than n now look at this very carefully if s is greater than n means what happens if there there is more demand if there is more demand than the box is purchased now look at this particular thing there are four people and only three cherries so there is more demand than the cherries which means if this is a shop this one person is one person is running a shop and he he is uh, he finds that there are more people coming for cherry so end of the day there is no cherries left now here what happens in second in the second case you have four people and four cherries so there is no cherries left here also no cherries left now here what happens you have four people but five cherries so one cherry is left here okay so this just just try to uh, make yourself understand what i'm trying to say with this cherry thing that i've just showed you now if there is more demand than the boxes purchased there will be no unsold cases so this will be just like this the uh, and then the criteria number two where four people came and four cherries were there so in that case conditional probability will be the profit into cases sold because there is nothing law, law there is there was no salvage there was nothing left behind so it is 50 my 80 minus 50 where, where did you get 80 minus 50 that we found out all, over here into cases sold into s because s is the number of cherries to be purchased in in a, another sense it can be said that it is the number of cherries that is that is purchased and yet to be sold okay that is why putting it as s there so we are devising our first equation as 30 s now the second condition is coming up here as if s is greater than n now what is this condition when s is greater than n is the third condition here what was what was the third condition here this is the third condition there are unleft if there there is five cherries here and there are four only four people which means one cherry will be coming as waste now there are unsold boxes here so the conditional profit will be something like profit into cases sold minus loss into cases sold so profit we already got from here 80 minus 50 into cases sold minus 50 minus 20 into cases unsold we have a small equation again coming up it is n minus s now what is n minus s the number of boxes that you bought minus number of boxes that was sold that is n minus s now just try to understand with the cherries in the next slide that i was showing you you will get try to understand very clearly as why did i take as n minus s for the cases unsold okay now after that what happens now we have uh, we'll just try to solve this uh, uh, equation 80 minus 50 is 30 80 minus 50 is 30 50 minus 20 is also 30 so 30 s minus 30 into n minus s once you solve that particular thing you will get it as 60 s minus 30 n okay now with this let's go to the probabilities that we ought to find out now we said that the total number of days is 120 
and it was given in the question like number of days as 12 24 48 and 36 so i am just putting it here 12 24 48 and 36 total number of days was 120 so probability could be found out using the formula a by b or what is a this is a and this is b so 12 by 120 is equal to 0.1 24 by 120 is 0.2 48 by 120 was 0.4 and 36 by 120 is 0.3 with this information we'll be able to uh, find out uh, we'll be able to formulate our payoff table now in the payoff table we have the states of demand uh, the state of nature as the demand and the conditional profit due for, to purchase per day now 15 16 17 and 18 are the uh, conditional profit every the days that has been given here and we are also having the demand for the different days okay so what are we supposed to find out we are supposed to find out the payoff table in this payoff table we are trying to find out the profit okay so we'll try to solve one by one we'll try to solve this now it was already said we already said in the formula if s is less than n if s is less than n is which means there is this particular sorry uh, this particular scenario if the s is less than, less than n in the sense there are no unsold cases if there are no unsold cases then the formula is here the formula will be cost price is equal to 30 into s so the formula is 30 into s now what is s here s is 15 okay so that is how we get 30 into 15 now we look for this particular column now here what happens is we we have to apply this formula if s is greater than n now here first thing was 60 into s now 60 into s is 50 uh, 15 here and then you have 30 into n 30 into 16 here 16 is here that is how you get this now here in these three cases what happens is you have to understand if s is greater than or equal to n here it is if it is more than 16 now 16 17 18 if it's more than 16 you will have to apply the formula cp is equal to 30 into s so it is 30 into 16 and the no, s is 16 so 30 into 16 that is how it goes now here what happens you apply the same thing like uh, formula is cp is equal to cp is equal to 16 into s minus 30 into n 16 to 15 this is 16 to 15 minus 13 to 17 now ultimately here we will apply the uh, this formula you will apply the formula where uh, cp is equal to 13 to s okay that that it goes there and finally the same scenario here where you will apply uh, this formula in all these situations so and finally you find once you solve this particular uh, and you find the values it will come like this so here what happens you have this matrix which you calculated from the previous table now after that what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to multiply 1 into 2 that is what is said here then you have to multiply 1 into 3 that has been said here and similarly you multiply all these one two into uh, with all uh, the columns with the corresponding probability and then you will get this resultant matrix and when you find this resultant matrix that is the expected monetary value now from the expected monetary value you are supposed to find out the biggest or the maximum value now you have four values here 450 474 486 and 474 again now which is the maximum among them the maximum among them is 486 okay so since highest emv of 486 is corresponding to the course of action 17 so the retailer must purchase 17 cases of cherries every morning
i hope you have a small understanding or a little bit of an understanding about this particular problem so uh, i need you to work out with more other practical problems like this so thank you very much this is jitin benedict